Have you ever wondered how mushrooms are grown and processed? A fascinating query, isn't it? Well, today we're taking a deep dive into the intriguing world of mushroom farming. Unlike your typical garden plants, mushrooms have a unique growth process, which is nothing short of a marvel of nature. They don't rely on sunlight, they grow in a completely different substrate, and their life cycle is a spectacle to behold. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire process, from the initial preparation stages to the final harvest. We'll explore the modern technologies that have revolutionized mushroom farming, making it more efficient and sustainable. You'll get to understand the intricacies of this amazing farming practice that brings us those savory mushrooms we all enjoy in our meals. So if you've ever been curious about where those delicious mushrooms in your meals come from, stay tuned. So, how does the journey of a mushroom start? It all begins with the spawn. Now you might be wondering what exactly is mushroom spawn? Well it's essentially the seed of the mushroom but not in the traditional sense. Instead it comprises of a carrier material, often grains, that's been colonized by mushroom mycelium. Think of mycelium as the root structure of the mushroom, the vital lifeline that absorbs nutrients and water, enabling the mushroom to grow. Creating spawn is a delicate process, it involves sterilization, a crucial step to ensure the absence of any competing organisms that could hinder the mycelium's growth. The sterilized grain is then inoculated with mycelium, and over time, the mycelium will grow throughout the grain creating what we call spawn. This first stage sets the foundation for the entire mushroom cultivation process. It's a testament to the intricate and fascinating world of mushroom farming. With the spawn ready it's time to move on to the next stage, preparing the substrate. The next critical step in mushroom farming is substrate preparation and inoculation. So let's dive into what a substrate is. It's essentially the material that mushrooms grow on, providing them with all the nutrients they need. Preparing the substrate is like setting the stage for our mushroom stars. We start by combining organic materials like straw, wood chips, or compost, often pasteurized to kill off any unwanted organisms. Now let's talk about inoculation. This is where we introduce the spawn which is mycelium grown on grain to the substrate. It's like planting seeds in a garden. We layer the spawn in the substrate, creating a comfortable environment for the mycelium to spread. It's a fascinating process watching the mycelium colonize the substrate, turning it into a white web-like structure. Once the substrate is fully colonized, it's time for the mushrooms to start growing. Now comes the exciting part, watching the mushrooms grow, and ultimately harvesting them. The growth of mushrooms requires a delicate balance of specific conditions. The ideal temperature is typically between 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, while the humidity should be maintained at a high level, around 85 to 90 percent. Mushrooms also need proper ventilation as they release carbon dioxide and consume oxygen during their growth. It's fascinating how these fungi mirror humans in this aspect, isn't it? Now how do you know when your mushrooms are ready for harvest? The key is in the cap. Once it flattens out or begins to turn upwards, it's time to gently twist and pull your mushrooms free from their substrate. Remember, don't wait too long to harvest, or the mushrooms will release their spores, which can lead to a messy grow area and potential contamination. With the mushrooms harvested, what's left is the final step, processing. Finally, we've reached the last stage of our mushroom journey, processing. Once our mushrooms have been harvested, the processing stage can take a variety of forms. Some mushrooms are simply cleaned and packaged fresh, ready for consumption. Others might undergo drying, a method that prolongs their shelf life and intensifies their flavor. Dried mushrooms can be rehydrated and used as a flavor-packed ingredient in various dishes. Another common method of processing is canning. Canned mushrooms are easy to store and use, making them a popular choice for many. However, it's important to note that the canning process can alter the texture and flavor of the mushrooms, so it's all about personal preference. Regardless of the processing method, proper storage is key. Mushrooms should be kept in cool, dark places to maintain their quality. Incorrect storage conditions can lead to spoilage, compromising the taste and texture. And there you have it, the fascinating process of mushroom farming from spawn to your plate. 